if I understand correctly, you are afraid because you have visions every time you have a knife in your hand. Not every time, only when there are people near me. And the last week you stabbed your boyfriend. <laughs> I had a vision that I stabbed my boyfriend, yes. Of course. How is it with your boyfriend? It's, um, it's amazing. We're in love, we're really we're happy. Love, we're happy. No problems. Your visions. Is it always happening with people you love? Is it always happening with people That's you love? That's why I'm so afraid. Yes. Yes, always. That's why I'm so afraid. Sweetie, we're gonna have a good time, okay? Just trust me, right? Just uh, relax. Hello! Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We finally made it. <laughs> hi, Christina. Say hi. Hey, you. No, oh, she's shy. That's all right. Come in, come in. Thank you. <laughs> Great place you got here. Don. Hey, yes, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? How are you? Iris? Well, cheers. <laughs> cheers, thanks for having us over, guys. Thanks for finally accepting the invitation. Long overdue, yeah, <laughs> sorry we couldn't make it before. We were, we were busy. Well, we started thinking that um, you might have something against us. Hey, you. Iris. Can I get a hug? Iris, <laughs> Iris in those squats, I see. Look at you, you're so tall. What have you been feeding her, man? <laughs> and look at that hair. A little angel? <laughs> Steak. Every day. Just meat. She's so healthy, so strong. <laughs> she has a bad cold for six months, but ought to go away. I love you. Who? What? <laughs> Call you later. And um, is it always with knives? Anything. Anything pointed or sharp? Sharp. Okay. Do you have other examples? Of these visions? Last summer, my friend came over to help me with my curtains. I was working on the sewing machine and oh, she thanks. asked me for the scissors on the table in front of me, so I reached over to grab them. the table in front of me, so I reached over to grab them. And when I got up, I got up. I stabbed her directly in the eye. What I stabbed her directly in the what eye. Did you do? I stabbed anything, her directly in the eye. Anything. I mean, in my vision, my sharp. Thank you very much. This is delicious. Pleasure. Thanks to Peter, the barbecue master. Well, that's that's the men's department. I mean, some things are just reserved for us. Like, do you know why in World War II there were no women allowed in the troops? Oh, God. No, no, no. Hear me out. Anyone? Because the army didn't want to have an internal war once a month. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Get the women out! They're gonna kill us all! Please don't pay attention to him. He's sexist like his old man. Hey, at least I don't beat you. <laughs> okay? Uh, you're a class act. Hey, these hands were made for loving, not beating or strangling or whatever abusive husbands do. From what I can from see, what I can you, see are you are from suffering kind of from a kind of vertigo. Vertigo? You're, You're having, having intrusive, intrusive thoughts. thoughts. People suffering from vertigo, People suffering from vertigo, vertigo you know. They're, they're afraid, afraid of heights. heights. They have a fear of the void. Yet they somehow feel drawn towards it. In your case, you're afraid, afraid of, of knives. knives. 
or are a sharp, 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 pointy, sharp object. pointy object. When there are people, when there are around, people you, around you, people you love, people you, love you feel you drawn to the worst towards possible, the worst scenario. possible scenario, hurting them on purpose, hurting them on purpose. So it's dangerous? Absolutely not. How many people suffering from vertigo do you know who jump off a cliff? No one. No one. You have to trust yourself. All around you, are drawn towards the world. You're having intrusive thoughts. So it's dangerous. Hurting them on purpose. You have to trust yourself. A kind of hurting them on purpose. Intrusive thoughts. Trust yourself. How many people suffering from vertigo do you know who jump off the cliff? How about the soccer team? Oh, she's doing great. She loves it. She loves it. Everything okay, Sonia? <clears throat> now, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but. It's that time of the month, isn't it? Jesus, Pete! Come on. I can sense this isn't honey. You know how I know women. Her breasts are swollen, her cheeks are rosy. She's had this attitude ever since she walked in. You her think I can't sense this? It's like we have our own little internal war going on. I can't on. that's it, right? How many people suffering from vertigo do you know who jump off a cliff? 